Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Sir James D. DJ video. Today we'll be doing um, a little bit of a contrast here. The EVGA GTX 480 Fermi and SLI is on the left, and then on the right is the Fermi in a single um, configuration. Now what I did for that was I went with the EVGA control panel and just to disabled the second card using those jumpers so it was real simple to do I also started up a website and it's called sirjamesd.com I just thought that would be easier for people to remember than having the DJ at the end of it I've got hardware reviews, game reviews, the latest drivers and it's got forums so if you'd like a a fresh, clean, uh, respectful forum to go to. I mean, you know I'm a decent guy. Now, I should mention, every benchmark is maxed out, okay? So this isn't some, you know, 1920 resolution. This is full 2560 by 1600, you know, everything maxed. So keep that in mind while you're watching. Yeah, I used the Adobe Dreamweaver to build up my website from scratch so it wasn't some bull crap, you know, kit or whatever, you know. I tried one of those and it's like they don't give you enough control. So I just set it up myself. Um, the biggest issue I had with the forums was updating the PHP BB. Um, you know, since this is my first time doing it, I'm sure it's real easy to everybody else, but you know, some of the tutorials out there kind of suck. And I'd like to give a shout out to a guy. Um, he runs helpvid.net and he helped me a great deal. And I'd just like to give a shout out and a thanks to him. You can see there's quite a difference. I mean, it's over twice the frame rate between the two, which is pretty damn good scaling when you figure. You know, I don't know if the 200 series scaled that well, honestly. And again, these aren't mature drivers. So these are just the 197.41s. And yeah, I'm assuming, and I know how dangerous assumptions are, <laughs> but I'm assuming once drivers get a little better that these are going to be even more drastic. If you remember the last video, I just blew through Vantage 06 and also Heaven 1 and 2. Now if you'd like me to do this kind of video with those benchmarks as well, just leave a comment in the in the section and I'll I'll get that rocking for you. I mean it takes a little bit of time but you know I don't mind hard work. Yeah I'm not gonna go into specifics about you know what I'm annoyed at with people so you know, you might as well not even ask, but yeah, let's just say the atmosphere on some forums has gotten, it's gotten a little annoying. You know, guys think just because, oh, I've been on this forum since 2007 or whatever, that I can treat people like trash, and that's just, that's not the type of environment I like to be around. So, boy, this is drastic. I don't know if you're, holy, 168 to... It was in the 60s. I can't believe that is a massive improvement. Wow. Yeah, I really haven't delved too much into Resident Evil 5, actually. I never played any of the other ones. Um, I never had an original PlayStation. And the PS2 I had, I think might be still working. I don't know. It's sitting over there rather dusty. But yeah, look at that. Oof. That is a huge difference. I want to thank everybody for their awesome support. And you guys are the best fans a guy could ask for. And you're really what keeps me going and, you know, keeps me wanting to come up with new and creative things for you. So, I'd like to thank you all. And just so you guys know, that's nothing wrong with my graphics card on the side. That's the SLI indicator that I've got 
enabled, you just do uh, right click from the desktop and go into the NVIDIA control panel and basically enable it from there. And it's real simple to do, so no, my hardware isn't broken. Yeah, let me know what, uh, what other games. I was thinking about doing Devil May Cry 4. I was thinking about doing a Crisis Benchmark. God, I really do wish I could get a third, but it would just completely burn up in this case. Yeah, that wouldn't... <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea. I'm not willing to sacrifice this whole setup. Melting. You know. God, it's such a freaky game. Yeah, so I... I did purchase... Oh, here we go. Ooh, 145 to 79. That is... Astounding. So yeah, right around... Right around twice the amount. It's about 95% right there. And now we're here, here in Crisis Warhead. Now this is an Avalanche 2 benchmark. Oh my god. that That's over twice. Wow. Now this one, since the single is running slower, it's going to take a little longer to go through. So, just be prepared. I'm going to try to freeze it on the end. The SLI one, because... I'm fairly confident it's going to finish before <laughs> the single. Other than that, I know a lot of people have wanted to see me go through Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now, of course, I wouldn't do a full gameplay, but yeah, I'd show about obviously 10 minutes worth, but I'd play for about an hour. I thought it was hilarious from what I played out of it. Anyways, like I said, I, had, I purchased uh, the... Ballad of Gay Tony or whatever. I haven't gotten into it yet, but it looked kind of interesting. There you see my zombie land persona. <laughs> Time to nut up or shut up. Yeah. 29, 36, 43. So that's for the SLI. We are just absolutely chugging with a single. I mean, again, this is with everything maxed. I mean, you can see on the left, everything's rocking. That, except for the anti-aliasing, I couldn't figure a way to toggle on that. Yeah, I'm really glad I decided to do this video because reading graphs all the time is one thing, but actually being able to see with your own eyes the difference between SLI and a single GPU I mean, that that makes all the difference to me. 15, 19, 22. Well, again, stop over at sirjamesd.com. Talk later.